What are four things that are easy maintenance for you to check every day to keep you on the road safe? Hello again, my name is Russ and on the Russ Ride channel I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings on rideshare companies and delivery companies. In this video I'm going to give you four easy tips on how to keep you on the road so that you're not stuck somewhere and then you're paying for repairs, you're not earning money, and you're wasting your time. The first tip is check your oil. Heat is the enemy of your car. The second tip is your coolant. You have to have your coolant system operational to keep you on the road. The third, although not critical, it is very important to check your windshield wiper fluid. You don't wanna be on the road and then have something happen where you can't see and not be able to clean off your windshield in a quick manner. The fourth is your tire pressure. Over time, this will create a dangerous situation for you and it is gonna cost you money. So let's look under the hood and I'll show you these four easy tips. Come with me now. All right, first, the easiest thing you can check is your oil. Now look on your engine, you're gonna see the dipstick. It's easy, just pull it out use a napkin if you've been driving a while you want to let it sit put it back in after wiping it off like that and then carefully check the oil and you can see mine is full so that's good if it's between those two lines definitely you don't want it to go below the first line but if you need to you can add a little oil it tells you right on the top of the lid what kind of oil to use so you can see my car uses 5w30 and if you did need to add more, that's where you would pour it in. The second area is just to the left of the engine oil. You can see right there your coolant. Now, if you've been driving all day, when you stop, you're gonna see the limits here full and low. After you've been driving all day, it's gonna be full because your engine's hot. And then when you stop, all the excess is gonna come out. So you don't wanna fill it more than that. I would recommend checking it in the morning when it's cold. If you don't see that it's at that low level, then add some more antifreeze, and you wanna use what's right for your car. Up next, well, and actually real quick, there is a difference between those two black caps. The one with the yellowish bottle is your radiator fluid, and then right there in the front is your windshield wiper fluid. And you can easily see that because it's gonna show you some windshield wipers. So check that level. You can just take off the cap, look inside, and I'll need to add some more. This is important because you wanna make sure that when you're uh, in a traffic situation that you're able to turn on your windshield wipers and clear that. And you can buy any cheap stuff that you want. Just make sure, try not to use uh, regular water because it is hard and just go ahead and fill it up until it gets to the top. And you'll see when you get too much, you should stop because if you keep pouring it in, it's just gonna come out. In general, your tires are gonna lose about one pound of air per month. And the easiest thing that you can do is look on the sidewall of the tire and it's gonna tell you exactly how much air that it's rated for. So it may be hard to see, but right there, the uh, try to zoom in for you. It's hard to see in the bright sun, but max is 44 PSI. So you can also look inside your car. So you can see for my car, it calls for 30 PSI. I recommend you purchase a tire gauge. It allows you to check easily. Just take off the cap, put it on. Wow, mine says 38. That's a little high. I have been driving quite a bit. Um, usually I try to keep it at 35, so I should uh, take a look at that later. The key thing is that it's not under 30. If it was, you'd wanna add more. And if it was over, like that's a little bit high, I may want to uh, adjust it lower because you don't want to have a blowout on the road. And 
if you don't take care of your tires, they're going to wear out, wear unevenly, and then you're going to have to replace them, which is going to cost you money. Now, as a bonus tip, there are other two other important fluids that you need to check. The first is your power steering fluid over time. Generally, you don't have to really mess with this, but you should check the level. And you can see between the two lines there if it's full. So that's good. The next is your brake fluid. And in my car, it's over here. I know this may be hard to see in the bright light, but the reservoir is right there. And you can check that it's between the lines. I hope you found those four easy tips for your maintenance helpful. Um, first, the most important heat is the enemy of your car. So to combat heat, it's your oil level and your antifreeze coolant level. Next, if you're out on the road and something uh, obstructs your view, you need to be able to have some windshield wiper fluid to help wash that off. And then finally, your tire pressure. Your tires are gonna lose about a pound of air per month, so check them. If you don't have to work, please don't. But if you do, I suspect deliveries are gonna be quite busy now. Um, ride shares most likely dead for several weeks if not months. All right, drive safely everyone, stay home if you can, and stay healthy. Until I see you in my next video, have a good day. Bye.